Hey folks, Technivorous here, and today we're going to be looking at one of the best extensions for Kira Slicer, and we're going to jump right into it. But before we do, make sure you reduce your Z offset on that subscribe button down below, and give that notification bell a good first layer squish so you can get notified anytime we make new videos. Now, that being said, let's talk about Banana Split. Now, this is an extension that I've been looking for something like this for quite a while, and it works really, really well. So we're gonna jump into it. I'm gonna show you where to get it here. You go to the marketplace and just type in split, and it's gonna be the one that shows up with the little banana icon, and it's actually kind of clever. Split model with one easy action. Imagine splitting a banana neatly in half with a quick swing of the katana. That's how easy it is. Now, I've already installed it. If you don't have it, what you're gonna wanna do is click install here, and then you're gonna have to get out of Kira, exit out, and reload it for the extension to actually load properly. Once it does, once you have a model in here, you'll be able to use the extension. Now, it's important to note this extension isn't accessed through the extension menu. Let's go ahead and pull in a model. I have a nice, even, round, symmetrical model here. Okay? And the way that this works is, basically, you're gonna sync this into the build plate where you want it cut, and then it's gonna duplicate the model, flip it over in reverse. So let me show you exactly how this works. So I'm, let's say, I'm gonna rotate this 90 degrees here. We're gonna try and cut this exactly in half. It's not gonna be exact, because I don't need it to be perfect. But basically, this blue part, which normally would not be printed and is placed under the build plate, is going to be turned around and put on the build plate face up. So what we do is we hit banana split, then hit split, and there you see, there you have it. So uh, it doesn't look, it looks like it just split it in half here, from the top view, if you scroll under, you can see that it is actually two models. It's just representing the different parts of those models. So what else can we do with this? Does it have to be a symmetrical model? No, I mean, it absolutely doesn't. So one of the other things we can do is, let's put this in, we're gonna go ahead and go about like, eh, come on. I'm gonna turn off snap rotation here. There we go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and chop just the head off of this thing. We get a nice front view to line it up so we can see a little bit better. There we are. And in this case, it's gonna replicate just the ball. So it doesn't actually mirror the object. What it does is it cuts it on the plane and then mirrors the part that's not showing. So basically, we can take this here, do banana split, and it'll print the top and the bottom separately. So there's a little chain here. You can link these two together so that if you delete one, you delete the other, or so if you change one, you change the other. So let's go ahead and try that. It's linked. So now, hmm, apparently that's not working for me. I think I did that wrong, but that's all right. I wanted to try one more thing. I wanted to grab a model that was not symmetrical, or, uh, uh, well, I mean, something with some, some different angles on it, okay? So we're gonna take this, and you can do this at whatever angle, whatever way you decide to cut, okay? So we're gonna rotate, bring it down to here, right? Drop it down, banana split that bad boy, and there you go, two parts to the same hole. Now, why is this better than just lowering it, printing one, and flipping it over and printing one? Well, because it's gonna mirror it exactly. So these two pieces should be the exact opposites of each other. And that's great, because that's exactly what we want. Let's go ahead and take this since it's not linked. And we can actually see if we can do multiple splits here. It won't let us split the model again. So that's something to be aware of. Um, but very interesting. It mirrors one off the other. And it's handy for trying to split things in half or large prints that you need to do um, in two different sections. So I can take this, right? And I can remove it. So if I print this piece, there's no secondary piece attached to it. So I can print this piece, and then what I can do is I can go split, and then I can delete this piece and print the other piece. So uh, you don't have to print them both at once, and you will still get the exact 
cut. So uh, really, really cool extension. If this video has been helpful to you guys, leave a like down below and let me know what you think in the comments. If there's any other extensions you think are absolute must-haves for Kira, let me know in the comments down below and I will try them out. We'll make a little video and see how they work. So pretty impressed with this. It's not going to work in all situations. Say you have a uh, uh, helmet that is way too large and you cut it in half. Um, you can cut it in half and then print half here and half later, just like I showed you, but you, you're not going to be able to rearrange those pieces on the build plate. Say, um, once they were split, you couldn't set this on this plane and print just this piece. It wouldn't work. So, uh, really, really handy, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Technivorous out, and I will see you in the next one.